What up people, Rish Ab here. It's been a long time since I've made a PC building or modding video on this channel. When in fact, those are the type of videos I started this channel with. Well, let's change that fact today. So for the longest time, I've had this PC cabinet with me with this speaker grill on the top. It's time I do something about this. So in this video, I'm gonna use a speaker and fix it into my PC cabinet. But first, let's take a look at the things needed for this build mod. We'll need a speaker, an amplifier circuit board, some connecting wires with audio headers for the motherboard, soldering equipment, and finally some screws and a drill you can also get some wire ties for cable management so i got this speaker from an old boom box you can also find it at your local electronics repair shop or maybe like a speaker shop for the amp circuit board i had this one lying around but you can easily find one for cheap online Finally, I took these cables out from the old audio header that this case had in the front. So you can also pretty much find this in any old cabinet as well. Now let's get modding. All right, so the first step is to measure the speaker and see if it actually fits in the speaker grill. So let me just take this speaker grill out. Over the years, I've just used this as an air opening and I've added this cheap, cheap filter. It's like a cloth filter to just prevent the dust from going in. Well, the speaker grill also has this small hole. I have installed a custom uh, LED blue button in there that lets me turn my PC on and off. These holes on the top are for the 80 mm computer fan. I don't think the speaker would technically fit that, but let's try anyways. All right, so so there we go. The speaker fits perfectly in the hole that is already provided in the cabinet. Unfortunately, the screw holes don't align with the holes that are in the speaker. So let's just drill some new ones. I'll use this marker over here to mark the places where we need to actually drill the thing. This is so stupid using a black marker on a black cabinet. Okay, so we are all set over here. Seems like we have good enough distance. And now let's just fire up the drill and drill some holes. Okay, ooh, this part's gonna be loud, so just cover your ears. All right, so first of all, I don't recommend drilling the holes while everything is inside, but I'm just lazy like that, so I don't wanna take everything out. I think I'll just take the risk. All right, let's go. All right, so we are done with the holes and I'll just put the speaker over the top and see if it aligns. You know, it will work. It's probably not made for a speaker. It's probably made for a fan. Yep, it's definitely made for a fan. Well, what if? Now that we are done with the drilling part, let's get on with the soldering part. Okay, so now you have to be careful when you're soldering the wires on this board. So this particular amp board has two outputs. You can see it says out over here so it has two output outputs for two speakers we are just gonna use one for now then it has three it has well two inputs one is for the voltage it says 5 volt near it so it requires 5 volt of power which we are gonna use from the USB header in the motherboard and the second one is the left ground and right that is your audio input that is where your sound is gonna go in so all right so now that we have identified all the things we need to solder on the board let's select our wires so for the speaker i chose i got this wire from the speaker itself from the boom box now the tricky part here is identifying the positive and negative of the speaker so usually the positive wire is dual coded it's dual colored like this one over here i'm going to use that as positive and make sure you use the right ones on the board as well so as you can see on the board it says plus near the positive and minus near the negative 
so use the correct wires over there and similarly on the speaker as well on the speaker it should say positive and negative as well secondly for the power i'm going to use this speaker header so it has two inputs which is rightly spaced with the motherboard input of the speaker so i'm going to use it for the 5 volt input again keep in mind the positive and negative and lastly for the left ground and right i am going to need three wires unfortunately the motherboard header is spread apart so i can't use just one uh, header one wire header for that so i'm going to use three instead so each one is going to serve one is this i'll choose the red one as the right the blue one as the left and the black one as the ground again keep in mind left to right the ground one is the middle one okay so now that we have all of this together let's just solder it on and test it after that all right so i have soldered these all together as you can see from the back my soldering skills aren't that good but <laughs> we'll have to do all right so since this is done let's just throw the speaker into the cabinet oh my cabinet's so dirty time oh okay let's do this all right so i have screwed in the speaker and let's just close this hatch all right and time to test this thing out okay doesn't sound bad right yeah it's it's pretty good pretty okay for a amplifier speaker right like a diy amplifier speaker so i guess yeah that that was that was it for this video like i i was able to put in the speaker in my cabinet i uh, and i am pretty happy with what i got so yeah So hope you had as much fun watching this video as I had making this build. Don't ask me why the front of my case looks so bizarre. I do have another video coming up in which I'll try to fix this mess, but we'll just leave it right as it is for now. So yeah, until the next build. Namaste.